It even has two new leaves that are starting around the side, but they're way over separate from the main plant. So I don't know if that means that it's trying to tell me that it wants to be repotted. It kind of looks like it has enough room. So I don't know. I'm going to Google it, obviously, but I wanted to ask you guys in case you know what this means and you have any tips. But I just got back from the city, actually, and I went to the grocery store. I filmed a grocery haul, so I'll show you that later on in this video. And it was actually inspired by the grocery hauls that I used to do on this channel where I didn't just show what I got from the store, but I also paired it with an easy meal idea or quick recipe because I think that's how I can be the most helpful. I sometimes Sometimes if I get even something basic like potatoes, if I don't know what I want to do with those potatoes, I'll either end up making them the exact same way every time or they'll just kind of lay there for a while. And so I feel like pairing the grocery haul with some easy ideas will be helpful and I haven't done that in a while. So we'll do that later on in this video. But earlier today I went to an appointment to get my engagement ring resized. <laughs> She's actually gonna put some little stabilizer balls in the bottom of it to make it a little bit smaller and just kind of fit better. And she told me that I was cleaning my jewelry wrong. And as soon as I get my ring back, I will teach you what she taught me when it comes to cleaning jewelry. She said it's super gentle and it really helps to make everything look really clean and sparkly. So you can do it for rings, earrings, everything. So we'll do that in an upcoming video. And then after that, I went to this Danish bakery for lunch and I had the most delicious sandwich. And I think it'd be pretty easy to recreate it home. was so good was because of the sun-dried tomato pesto. I think pesto in general is a favorite, but I always forget about sun-dried tomato pesto and it is so flavorful and sun-dried tomatoes in general are just very, they're like little flavor bombs and you can quickly add just instant flavor anytime you add sun-dried tomatoes, like salads, sandwiches, pasta. I'll put one of my favorite pasta recipes. I call this my creamy sun-dried tomato pasta and it's one of my favorites and also one of my family's favorites. It's definitely their most made recipe of mine. It's just like a staple for all of us. So I love that one. I will link it down below for you guys. But right now I'm going to go ahead and take a really good everything shower because when I get back from being in New York, I'm just covered. I'm covered in New York. Like it's in your hair, it's on your skin, it's on your clothes and it just feels like dusty and like I just feel dried out. So I'm gonna do a nice everything shower, change into some comfy clothes and then settle in for the evening. But I wanted to thank Osea for teaming up with me because they make some of my favorite everything shower products. And whenever I have a discount code for you guys, you can use that code on top of their sale prices. And right now they are doing a huge Mother's Day sale and you can use my link and code below to get an extra 10% off. And they have some really beautiful gift sets like this glow and go facial set, which actually includes one of my favorite Favorite cleansers which is the ocean cleanser I've been through many of these I know I've talked to you guys about this before this is the one that I use on days like today when I really want to purify and deep clean my skin but it doesn't strip it really helps to balance the pH and it contains seaweed so it also remineralizes the skin and it smells really good I know that's not the most important part but I personally love that so i take off my makeup and then i double cleanse with this and in this set you get the full size of the ocean cleanser as well as a facial oil and a gua sha and i just think this would be such a nice gift for a mother or a caregiver in your life i'll also be using this andaria cleansing body polish which has the coolest consistency they call it a gel to milk consistency and as you can tell i really like it it's almost gone whenever i use this before i shave i just feel like i'm so fresh and clean when i get out of the shower i use this, I shave, I moisturize, 
and I seriously, I feel like a brand new human. The full size of this body polish comes in this gift set, which is also on sale for Mother's Day, as well as my favorite product that Osea makes, which is the Andaria Algae Body Oil, and this is also the full size in the set, and it comes with a plant-based dry brush. You can use this for dry brushing before the shower. I'll put some of my favorite Osea products on the screen, and you guys can use my link and code below to get 10% off. If you don't know, Osea is a vegan and cruelty-free company that is a mother-daughter founded company. So this Mother's Day sale is absolutely epic and I definitely recommend checking it out. Again, you can use my linking code for 10% off. So when I got home from the store, I put away the groceries and I did stock up on some basics like bananas and soy milk and black beans, but I got some fun things that I think are a little bit special and hopefully this will give you some good ideas. First of all, this pearled couscous is a great, just kind of weeknight staple when you want to change up your rice or quinoa game. And I think this really good pizza salad is probably my favorite way to use couscous. So you're just going to prepare your couscous and then we're going to add lots of pizza veggies. So these are veggies that give the flavor profile of a really delicious pizza. So you're going to need green bell pepper, that's key, red bell peppers, tomatoes, red onions, and olives. Then I add some protein with chickpeas, lots of flavor with fresh basil, dried oregano, salt and pepper, and the dressing could not be simpler. It's just going to be some olive oil and fresh lemon juice. We'll finish this by crumbling in some vegan feta, and this is going to give it a nice creaminess and tanginess and also kind of play up those pizza vibes. And that's it, we're just gonna toss it all together and this is so flavorful, you've got lots going on so every bite is just really packed with flavor and it's even better the next day, making this absolutely perfect for meal prep. Next up, I got some beet hummus. Now, if you don't like beets, you will not like this flavor because it definitely has a lot of beet flavor, but that's what I love about it. It is so fresh tasting, and I think this is the best beet hummus on the market. I love serving it on these little rice cakes with avocado, lemon, salt, and pepper. In fact, I filmed this on this day while I was putting the groceries away and then had it as a snack because it's just one of my favorite quick snacks, nicely balanced, carbs, protein, fat, and just super delicious and fresh. Next up, I picked up this yogurt. I think this is one of the most underrated yogurts, vegan yogurts on the market. It's a little bit cheaper than some of the other brands and it's nice and thick, so versatile. I also love picking up these perfect burgers from Dr. Prager's. They are so hearty. They've got 20 grams of protein and this chorizo, I think I've mentioned it many times now, but I love using this for burrito bowls. It is made with mushrooms, pea protein, some spices, olive oil, really simple ingredients and so good. Also picked up these Heidi's Italian meatballs. They're made with chickpeas and mushrooms and just again, very simple plant-based ingredients and I was really curious about these so I ended up making them for dinner on this night which you will see in just a minute. Next I picked up one of these vegan pizzas. They're not all vegan so make sure you check the box but this is a chickpea pizza crust with vegan cheese. It has tomatoes and spices. It's a really great lunch option when you just want something easy you can throw into the oven, serve with some fresh veggies and you've got a really simple but delicious meal that we both really like. It's not my favorite pizza in the world but it's really good and it has some good protein and fiber. Then I picked up some tomato pesto because I absolutely had to recreate that sandwich that I had for lunch and I'm so excited to try this plant-based one. Also, I think these are really underrated. I love the dark chocolate pretzel. These are great for quick snacks or if we're on the go. And then we always have this cereal on hand. I don't think there's ever a time where this is not in our pantry. We love making cereal bowls, which I'll show you in a second, but I call them loaded cereal bowls and they're just bowls that are really nicely balanced because a simple bowl of cereal does not keep me full for long but if I make a loaded cereal bowl I definitely feel better so I start with my cereal and then I add some fiber with fruit so I'll do bananas berries whatever I have on hand then I add more fiber fat and protein with some seeds or chopped nuts and finish with a little bit of nut butter on this day I had used some almond butter and then a high protein plant milk like pea milk or soy milk really helps to round out the meal and make it way more filling and honestly just more delicious another thing we pretty much always have on hand is bitchin sauce. Trader Joe's also makes a version of this that I really like, but we either have one of those two options most of the time because it's so versatile. My favorite way to use it is actually to thin it out with a little bit of lemon juice and then pour it over really any kind of grain bowl I'm making. On this day, it was potatoes. It was like a tray bake with potatoes, cauliflower, and tofu. 
but you can use this as a sandwich spread, as a dip for raw veggies. You could use it as a salad dressing. It's great on tacos. Also picked up some Earl Grey tea. There's something very springtime about Earl Grey tea to me and it's so good with oat milk. I also picked up this olive oil. It was on sale and in addition to being a beautiful bottle of organic Spanish olive oil, it's also really good and great for salad dressings. Finally, I picked up some medjool dates so I could show you how I make date bark. Now, I did not invent this recipe. This is a TikTok thing, but I did get some questions last time I made it in a video and I wanted to show you some little tips to make it easier. So you're just gonna spread out your dates in an even layer and then I use natural peanut butter so it's easier to spread it out. Then I will melt some chocolate chips and I love these vegan chocolate chips from Enjoy Life. I melt them in 30 second intervals, stirring in between so it gets really nice and easy to pour on top and you just kind of Jackson Pollock the chocolate all over the peanut butter layer. And the key for spreading the chocolate out and the peanut butter out is to just use the tip of your spoon or spatula. So you're not gonna spread it like you're spreading peanut butter on a piece of bread, you're kind of doing brush strokes and just really lightly distributing that peanut butter and chocolate layer on top. Then we'll sprinkle with flaky sea salt, pop this in the freezer until it's hard and kind of matte on top, and then you can cut it into little squares like this. And this is so nice to have on hand. I just keep this in the freezer in an airtight container. And whenever I want a little sweet treat, you've got something that's chocolatey, caramelly, peanut butter, that little hint of salt is so good. These are absolutely delicious and I would totally recommend making them. All right, let's try these. It says they have chickpeas, sun-dried tomatoes, mushrooms, kidney beans, olive oil, tapioca flour, nutritional yeast, garlic, oregano, flaxseed meal, basil, Himalayan sea salt, and cayenne pepper. It's a couple days later now, but I wanted to come on here and talk to you about those meatballs because I've been thinking about something and I encounter this a lot as a vegan and I feel like a lot of you guys probably do too. And even if you're not vegan, if you like healthy food, you like finding ways to kind of sneak veggies into your food, I feel like you'll be able to relate to this, but it's not something that I hear people talk about that much. And it's this idea that I feel like there's kind of two categories of plant-based meals. For me on this side, there's the foods that I make when I really want to nail the original version. So if I want to make spaghetti and meatballs that has the same flavor and texture and overall experience of the animal-based version just without animal products, I know that there are a lot of ingredients and cooking techniques that I can use to kind of really accurately recreate those comfort food classics that I used to love. And I really like meals like that. I love that those options exist exist because they did not when I first went vegan. But on this side, there's a totally different kind of meal and they're good and they're functional and they're healthy, but they're not trying to be this. And I think these are the meals that are the hardest to describe because they're often compared to these kinds of meals and therefore there's an expectation. And even if it's good, it's going to fall short. So for example, those Heidi's meatballs, the flavor was good. The texture is not like meat at all. So if you're expecting a meatball, you're probably not gonna like them. They're kind of bready, and to be honest, they're a little bit dry. And so I actually think they'd be great on a really crunchy cold salad with a really zesty vinaigrette, like lots of lemon and you know maybe some avocado too. Like that would be really good. And I think sometimes having practical, simple options like that on hand, maybe it's not the most delicious thing you've ever had, but it serves a purpose. And I thought they were pretty good for what they were. And there are so many plant-based meals that fit into to that category and yet they're both considered plant-based so I think it can really be confusing for people anyway you guys get it but I want to know how you guys describe these kinds of meals and if you think vegan foods should be called something entirely different or if you think it's important that they're called the you know the original animal based name but just with the word vegan in front or plant-based in front I think I kind of lean that way, but I'd love to know what you guys think. And I'm gonna go take a shower. If you've been watching this clip and you're like, Nicole, 
this is you know interesting but why are you red and sweaty um it is because we just had really good thai food as i mentioned it is a couple days later and we had some thai takeout food we ate it on the couch while watching friends and it was really nice i always get the same thing i got green curry with veggies and tofu and rice and it was so good so i'm gonna go wash my face but if you guys want to watch some more what i eat in a day videos go ahead and click the screen and i will see you guys in a video very soon bye